Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is Asim here. So probably you would have noticed that the background has changed, and that's the reason I couldn't make videos last week. So I was traveling back home, and now since I'm here, so the videos would continue to come as it used to be, like every weekend two videos. So a few announcements. So first, that we have a Discord server now, and this is the one. Go and check that out. So invite link is in the description and I also made an announcement on the like YouTube post the community section so some of the people joined from there and in the telegram channel I also shared the link so I would be sharing this on Twitter as well so there are a few channels that I made which came like on the top of the mind like web app exploitation reverse engineering fuzzing tools like a lot of people suggest a lot of tools and for specific things or there could be personal choices so you could post those here projects are where you could discuss about some of the projects that you are making or collaborating on some uh, like some bug bounty programs things like that and then help is if you have something specific help related things tips and tricks if you want to share something about that so do check the server it's good we have a few people there more would be coming I am there some of the time the other thing is Google CTF has started so do check that out uh, like 34 hours are still left so it's throughout the weekend and so this is the interface after you log in so login is mm, like compulsorily through, through Google so you have a Google account a Gmail account and through that you could log in so there are, these are the categories of the challenges like pawning, reversing. So if you are interested in a web app, so you could check the web puzzles like 83 points, 4 and 6. So these points are on the basis of relative scoring. So the no, more number of people solve these, the points would go on decreasing. So that's that. Look out for new announcements. So they are posting challenges like every like these are not the final list of challenges. Like maybe after 12 hours, they might post few more challenges. So if you're stuck on something, you could come back and check. So I did participate in this two years back. And that's when I wrote this like write-up. So I was doing the web app exploitation part from my team. And this is the write-up from that. So like 46 teams solved it throughout the world. So that time it used to have beginner track and like normal track. I don't think there's a beginner track now. But that time it used to have. So this is the write up of that. Uh, I've already shared this on Twitter as well. I would post a link in the description too. So that's pretty much about it. And uh, before I continue with the like actual meat of the video, where we would be talking about the realistic mission three and some directory traversal thing. So I would like to give a slight brief about what we are gonna do in the next recon video. And that would be about uh, mass scanning of IP. So this is the tool I have been looking. So I'm also looking at mass scan, which is my default tool to go to. But I've also looked at rust scan and it like it promises a lot. So I would be looking into this. And a few people also suggest about Nabu and it's a project discovery offering. So probably it, it should be good. So I would do my due research here before posting anything. On the video so mask can rest can nabu if you have got any other options or choices post it in like on twitter ping me on twitter or in the discord server or anywhere else so, so let's start with the challenge so this is the third mission that we are going to do today so it's about peace poetry act a little girl made a website to post poetry related to peace and standing can you repair the website Take this challenge so it has something related to a basic mission 9 where we had to do something with the unix directory structure so i already made a video on that on the basic mission 9 so that was the episode 9 here so you could check that out but even if you don't check that out i would say that you could still continue to watch this video and i would be explaining everything here so the person messages that uh, he does he made a website for peace related poetry but he's not sure like why some of people hacked his website so 
uh, do you think you can hack in and change it back so probably we have to hack back the website so as to get the access to the owner and bonus points if you message me the name of the uh, person who did this so let's have a look so this page has been hacked hacked uh, is basically when someone defaces the website so they have they have done something this is not the actual page that it would have been so the first thing i do is i check the source so control shift i or control u to check the source so you could see that this is all the source that's there but if you notice the line numbers continue to grow right so probably there's something at the bottom so earlier i missed it and i was a bit like looking as to how i could get it what's there i couldn't find anything here so but then i noticed the line numbers and i scroll back scroll down so it mentions that uh, let me zoom in here uh, a note to the webmaster this website has been hacked but not totally destroyed so the old web website is still up i simply call, copied the old index.html so which the default index was to old index.html and remade this one so if we used to do uh, this old index or so we should get back the old website which is the actual website so this is the actual website so and the, the hackers what they did was they replaced the index.html file with their defaced one and copied it here like his own the default website so we have two options let's open in these two tabs so read poetry and submit poetry so there are three poems hacker images of an impending war the idiot and then this is the use this form to submit a poem to the website you do not have to be the author but if you use someone else's poetry please give credit where credit is due and they also mentioned that poems will be stored online immediately but will not be listed on the main poetry page until it has a chance to be looked at if so these are the like main poetry page and the author mentioned that until it has a chance to be looked at so after the person or the webmaster of this website uh, reviews that web poetry then only that would be posted here so that's that looks good so so what happened was once i clicked the like hacker poetry it went to website read poem dot php question mark name equal to hacker so let's remove this parameter and do this so you must enter a file so probably hacker is a file name here so the first thought that came to my mind after i read this that a chance to be looked at i thought there could be a xss or something and i would be posting a payload that would be executed on the admin's dashboard and boy i could get his cookies and then i could work with that so that's quite a like modus operandi in ctf changes but here since the author themselves don't have access to the website so probably that's not a way how we could solve this challenge so then the next thing i thought was that okay they would be stored online immediately but will not be listed so probably there's some place where the like it is being written maybe in a database or some file but uh, once i did this uh, that i removed the name parameter and i found that you must enter a file so i was pretty much convinced that the poem that we are submitting here would be saved as a file and that's why uh, the error message here says that you must enter a file probably hacker is a file here so next thing i did was i tried looking at the directory listings so i did first i tried poetry and then i tried since this didn't give out any results so i tried poems and poems also didn't give match so i thought there might be no directory listings so i just directly entered the actual poem so you could see that this is the actual poem that's there the mentor so if i show you the poem hacker another one caught today it's all over the papers so another one caught today it's all over so basically there's a poems folder and in that all the poems are stored this uh 
hacker poem images of an impending war the idiot like if i check here the idiot so it it would be here the idiot by carmen you are done so the idiot by carmen you are done you are done sorry so so basically whatever you submit here these would be saved in the poems folder and with a text like whatever name you say so the next thing i thought was it was quite basic that what i have to do is i have to uh, like let's try with this so like suppose i do hacker and then i try whatever so it should what it should your poem was successfully added thank you for your contributions so it should probably overwrite it or something if it's like not checking whether the file already exists or not so if i now check here hacker so this couldn't be overwritten probably it might have some other permissions or similar kind of thing like if i check here hacker so it's the same so let's try uploading another file like um, hacker 121 this is it so let me copy this add one so okay see that this wasn't uh, this wasn't found on the server so probably it's not saving there but that's where it should have been but probably due to maybe uh, restrictions on since this is a challenge site so that's why uh, you cannot save files there but that should be the proper approach the next thing i did was i tried to replace the index.html file because the index.html file is one directory above this so if i do this index.html so this is the page here. so what what would have happened is that the hackers who got access to the website they overwrote this file and somehow maybe they got they uploaded a shell or something but since we are just to solve the challenge and shell won't be uploaded because it's just a like practice site not a actual hack so what we could do is we could just copy the source code here and paste it in the poem file so what it would do is instead of saving in the poems folder like in this it would go a directory up and replace the index.html so you might ask us in like uh, when we tried hacker 121 and tried saving that but we couldn't find it here right sorry we couldn't find it here so we couldn't find it here because not because the exploit didn't work but because it might this particular chain might have some restrictions because trying this i like i verified that it was working and that's how the actual attackers would have got access to the website so what it does is it overrides the index.html so you could see that go on so go on basically means that we solve that challenge just to verify that i would see i would show you the realistic missions uh, sorry you have already completed this level you have already completed so that's what the mission was in all i hope you understood what happened here So he also mentions that and bonus points if you message me the name of people who did this. So I tried that I like I couldn't get that. Probably probably that was just like just a fancy thing to put there. I don't I'm not sure if maybe earlier there was an option to submit the name also. I'm not sure about that. But uh, if you check this. Here's the just the name of the people like this page hacked by insane script kiddies shout to ultra that laser master of the ash and doctor doom so not actual names but just these aliases are mentioned here so I'm not sure about the bonus points I tried searching about this as well online but I couldn't find anything as to if anyone has asked um, like ever solved this with any bonus points or something and also there wasn't any like box or input here where we could submit those names and could get any bonus points out of that i think it might have been put earlier but not right now so that's it so if you like the channel subscribe it and if you like the video 
make sure you like hit the like button and share it with your friends i'd continue to make videos on these and bug bounty so i'm also working on a project where i'm trying to make a app related to security which would help everyone in the community so stay tuned and jump on the discord server thank you